uh, warm wishes from AD Academy. In this video, I am going to show you practically how you can do custom training of a large language model, specifically part for question and answering applications. Earlier, I have created lots of videos on different kinds of large language model like how to use Meta Llama 3.1, Llama 3 using hugging face and there are lots of videos on text generation, text classification, text summarization and lots of NLP videos are there. But in this video, I am going to focus on how you can do training for question and answering. Here I will be using simple transformer and using that you can do the coding in just few lines with just few simple steps. So stay tuned and watch this. Before starting, let me give a short introduction about myself. Welcome to AD Academy. The main motto of this channel is AI for Am Janta. My name is Dr. Ayan Devnath. I am an IIT Delhi alumni and Fulbright Research Scholar at Harvard University. I have total 9 plus years of experience in the field of Artificial Intelligence, Deep Learning, Machine Learning, NLP, Generative AI. Let's watch this video. Welcome to my Metaverse. The goal of question answering is to find the answer to a question which is already given inside a passage or a context. And for this question answering, we will be using simple transformer. So what is simple transformer? It is a library which is based on transformer library of hugging face. It is a simple library. You can easily use it. I will give you the link in the description of the simple transformer you can go to google and just write simple transformers.ai and you will land up to this page and here i will be showing you that you can use it for different kind of text classifications here for different in uh, ner for question answering for different kinds of language modeling for various purposes you can easily use this and i will be also sending you the github link for this simple transformers and using simple transformer in just few lines of coding say in just three lines of coding you can initialize train and evaluate a model so thus using simple transformer is very 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 easy i will show you how to do that so first of all i will be installing the uh, simple transformer and then what i need i need to get the data so i have already uploaded my data data means the training data set and the test data set for the custom training of the question answering in my uh, uh, Google Drive. So I will be importing the data. The data is in the form of JSON, so train JSON. So first of all, I am uh, reading the JSON file, I am parsing it, and then I am seeing how the data looks like. So here, the data looks like this. So in uh, first of all, let me tell you, in our childhood, what we used to do is comprehension comprehension or passage uh, we used to have these things in our childhood school so where there will be a passage first you have to read the passage and then there will be a question and the answer to that question is already in that passage so you have to find where the answer is and you have to write that answer okay we have done this thing so similar thing is there in question and answering so it means that custom training so it means you are training your model with your set of question and answers okay and how that data looks like so there is a context so where you have the paragraph or the context for it okay and then you have another set of list where you have your question answers series so q q a s is a question answer series and it has few of the parameters first parameter is id so there is an id associated to each of the questions okay this id so let's take this uh, as an example, the second one. So Q and A, Q A S is having ID two, and then it is showing is possible is a parameter. So it says that whether there is a possibility of getting the answer or not from that question. So is impossible? No, it is not impossible. It's a false. So you can get the answer from the passage. If you don't get the answer from the passage, then it will be true. It is impossible to get the answer from the passage. Okay. And then you have question and answers. So first of all, you have a question like this. So if you read the context, the first series published between uh, this and this consists of the final em uh, empire, the veil of the ascension and the heroes of ages. You have a question to that. 
when was the series published and then you have an answer to it the answer says that between two 2006 and 2008 which is written here the first series published between this okay and the answer starts at 28th character so it is mentioned so everything is there so this is one set of training data like that way there will be lots of other training data other samples of the training data okay and you have to give your training data in this format only if you use simple transformers okay and you can get the details of these things here so if you go and if you check this how you can load your data so in that case text representation and everything how you load your data so in that case you will find how they are loading the data and it is in this format you can pass a json file where you have a context and then you can say which number of question it is whether the answer is possible or not and then the questions and the answers okay so this is your training data now like that way you have a test data and you can say how your test data is so this test data we are using to evaluate how your model has been trained how good your model is okay so let's start the training now so you have to import few libraries so first of all i am doing uh, importing libraries like from simple transformer i will be using the model question and answering okay and then from that i will be importing few classes like question answering modeling question answering arguments and why we will be using these things because it allows us to build a model for question answering task using some predefined models okay now this question answering model it takes three parameters so one of the parameters is model name then the model type and another is the training argument so this takes three parameters question answering model okay model type model name and arguments so first of all coming to model name and the model type so if your model type is part then you have defined options like which which model to take okay so these are the defined options so if it is a part then you can take part based case or if you take a robata model then robata base uh, digital model elect electra base so like this way there are lots of options of which type of model you are taking and then the model name and where you can find all these details again you have to come back to their uh, website and here you can see that models code for question answering models for question answering they have uh, a set of models like Al for Albert you have Albert model for Bart you have Bart model for distal Bart you have distal uh, distal but like that way there are lots of models and you can find the details of these things in this website online okay and from that i have created this so right now i am taking this model part and model name is part base case okay and now you have to pass another argument which is training argument now here comes a very important part training arguments so these training arguments are the parameters which will give you the flexibility and the control of how you can do your training and you have to understand all these training arguments very well so let me tell you very frankly that if you don't understand these things then it will be a loss for you because you will get lots of codes online and you can just run those codes to get your results but this will not help you to land to your dream job because in interview interviewers will ask you different questions based on these things because most of the people will not know these things in details and you will get an edge if you know these things i myself have faced this kind of questions in uh, in an interview okay so let me tell you how these parameters are used what are the parameters which we generally use so let's come to these things that reprocess input data what that is means so here i am taking it as a true which is a boolean so this argument ensures that the input data is reprocessed every time your model is trained instead of using your cached version from the previous runs so it means that when you can use this so if you change your data set for example if you are working on a project in a company and if you change your data sets then you have to use this argument this will ensure that the changes are reflected during training otherwise you will not understand you will be using the old data and then again you are doing training you will not understand why your accuracy is not improving okay so these are very important parameters okay next come to override output directly it means that if you say it is too true then the output directly means where your model checkpoints are stored will be overwritten at the start of each of the training 
and this is also very useful in a way that when you don't know what to accumulate the multiple versions of the models during your experimentation then this is very important okay then there is one use cast evolve features this allows the uh, use of the cached evolution features which can speed up your evolution data okay and it reduces time it increases the computational resources so say for example if your interviewer ask ask you that how you can fasten up your training what parameters you will change then you can tell them that you can choose this parameter use cast evolve features okay so these are very important in a way that if you are preparing for an interview then always go through these things and lots of the materials will not give you the details which i am telling you so mind these things very carefully okay now coming to there is one thing called best model directory which is a very important directory so it means that when you are saving lots of models then at the end of your training you should get a directory where your best model like where the accuracy is highest or where the other performance or the evaluating matrices are in its best form so it means that the best model checkpoint is saved and you want to use that because suppose you have trained up to 50 epochs then you can't go through each and every epoch how the results are coming and which model to take just you will get a directory where the best model is stored and you will be using that model for your inference this will be very easy so these are very important parameters now coming on to evaluate during training yes i want to evaluate during training when you are doing your training say you are uh, training up to 50 epochs okay and 50 epochs might take say one week it depends so if your data is large it will take a long time to do that training so evaluate during training if it is true it means that after certain steps or after certain epochs the uh, during the training it will show you how your data is uh, like how your model is training with respect to your test data it will give you that evolution result the matrices say say after five epochs it is showing you that the model is of having this much accuracy then again after five epochs it is showing you this so if you don't do this and if you wait till the end then you will not understand how your model is doing the training it will help you to understand like how your model is training then maximum sequence length which is obviously and again a very 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 important parameters okay uh, even if you are going for the interview or even if you are preparing for an interview or even you you are working professional and you are actually working in a uh, corporate company then you have to understand these parameters very well so maximum sequence length it defines the maximum sequence length for the input data for the question and the context and this limits the number of the tokens the model will process in one pass say coming to chat gpt you have a prompt where you you have to write something so that is the context window so you want to provide some length to that context window if the length is thousands means thousand token or thousand words will be taken from the user okay so this is very important sequence length means how long you want to keep your context window okay so how long your question will be or how long your answer will be okay now coming to number of training epochs it means that how many number of epochs you want to train your models uh, so this sets the number of times the model will iterate over your entire training data sets okay now comes the evaluate during the training steps uh, uh, so it means uh, that it specifies how often or after how many training steps the model should be evaluated on your validation test data and i told you this validation is important this evolution is important and then one uh, one db projects for question answering application so it integrates so one db so this integrates with the weights and the biases that is why w and b for tracking the experiments this sets the project name where the training matrices will be uh, loaded okay or it will be locked okay and then there are a few other arguments so save model every epoch no not after after every epoch i don't want to save say after i want to save after a few steps or few epoch that's you can give okay and there are a uh, few other things like n base size so this is again an important what does n base size means it specifies the number of the base prediction to consider during evolution and during prediction so you have a, a question okay and the answers which the model will predict so first of all it will predict three answers okay so in base size means it will predict three answers and out of which the answers which is having the highest probability that will appear that will be the actual uh, inference to it okay so in base size you can keep it as 20 or 3 whatever you like it depends on you okay 
and then training batch size like in how many batch size you want to do the training okay so like this way there are lots of arguments and i will again and again tell you knowing the details of this argument will always give you an edge it will separate you from the mass and it will separate you from other candidates who are going for the interview okay now coming to this model so now you know about the model type model name and the training argument so you can start the uh, downloading the pretend models okay and then there are some other like custom arguments for training which you can use by using this question answering argument so initially i have discussed about this argument uh, which is question answering models and then there is another uh, class that is question answering arguments which you can also use to customize your model okay so here like you can use this training batch size evolution training size in base size and i have told you about these things earlier so you can also use this argument so it depends on you so i am not using just i am showing you that uh, uh, like you can configure your model using this question answering arguments but i will be keeping myself only restricted to question answering model where it takes three arguments which i have already discussed okay now comes this part so if you want to see how your training is progressing for each of the epochs how the training loss validation loss is how the accuracies are coming everything which you can generally see in a tensor board that you can see using this so you have to install this one db so this installs the weight and biases okay for tracking and visualizing the training in our web browser browser it is similar to that of tensor board those who have been uh, used tensor board so they know that so if you want to know about this so it will give you a, a graph of like how your training is going so it will be like this where it will show you for each and every epoch how the results are coming it will give a de details of these things okay you can see the loss and all these things so like tensor board you can see 1 db okay it will show you defined graphs for uh, your training loss validation loss like this way now coming to the actual training part so you have your model then you have to train your model using your train data set and the evolution data set for evolution data set i am taking the test data set okay i have already uh, taken the uh, train json and the test json i have passed it so my train data is ready so i will be doing the training okay now you have to evaluate your model so for evaluating model what you will be using you will be using your test data quite natural okay and then you have to do our predictions so in predictions say for examples what you have to pass you have to pass a context and then you have to pass the questions and the model will predict the answer to it right so here in this case the uh, input is different from the train data set and the test data set because train data set will have a question answer and the passage test data set will also have like that because that is used for the evolution or for the validations but to do the prediction you don't have the answer obviously you have the passage you have the questions and then the model will predict you the answer so that is what it's happening so if you do model dot predict then it will do uh, so let's see how the results are coming so the context is green is a missed bond of this this place now what is your question what is green speciality okay and it is giving you three answers because i have taken n base size as three so it is giving you answers that is a missed bond like this okay so three answer and the answers which is having the highest probability that will come okay fine so these are way how you can use question answering applications using simple transformer thus i have shown you in a very simple way so this is the custom training which you can do okay so i hope you like this video and similarly i will be creating lots of video on large language model using hugging face using langchain platform and lots of complicated uh, paper research papers i will take and i will explain you how they are doing and apart from this i will always give you tips on how to crack interview so what are the questions generally comes uh, in data science interviews in generative ai roles interviews so i will be creating lots of video to this kindly of subscribe to my channel and share these videos and uh, share these videos with all of your friends and family members and who are data science enthusiasts and want to land to their dream job or skyrocket their careers uh, if they're working professional then that will be helpful for them if you if they want to get promoted or if you if they want they want to get a good salary hike okay so see you in my next video